Hey guys, welcome back. And in this video, we're going to set up the starting system for our locomotion uh, animation blueprint. So, uh, just for testing, we're going to drag off the, of this try get born owner in the event graph and connect it up right here. And we are going to get our orientation direction variable. We're going to drag off of is valid and we're going to say print string. And we are going to print out the orientation direction. I'm going to set this color to a yellow color and I'm going to set the duration to zero. And if we hit play right now uh, to the top right there, you can see he is now forward. If I go backward, it should change the back, left, right. All right, so this is already calculating all of the directions based on the function that we created in the last video. Right, so now um, let's create a new structure. I'm simply going to duplicate this one. I'm going to call it SD orientation direction. I'm going to open this up and we are going to simply enter all of the directions. So forward back with left and right and save now let's go in our atom graph we need a leg ik node we are going to use this leg ik for our um stride warping so simply drag it in it will create a local to components and a component to local uh, node. So select your leg IK and you, we need some leg definitions right here. We can simply create two of them. For index zero, the IK foot bone is going to be IK foot L. For the FK foot bone is simply going to be foot L. And we can leave all of the other settings. For index one, it's going to be the opposite. So IK foot R and foot R. Hit compile and save. Now in your locomotion state, from the idle, we're gonna drag off and we wanna add a new state. So this state is going to be our movement start state. Oh, my bad. Right, so the transition here, the transition rule, we're going to promote this to shared variable and we're going to call this should start. We're going to open this up, right click, and we're going to search for should move. Get should move and plug it up like so. Straighten all of your pins, hit compile and save. Ensure to always save your project. Now, in our movement start, we need uh we're gonna right click and search for stride warping and we're gonna plug this up right here straighten this out now if we select our stride warping uh node we're gonna change this to graph and you can see it change to uh requiring a locomotion speed input and this is really simple we're gonna right click get our velocity xy We're going to get the length and we're going to plug it up to the locomotion speed. Straighten these pins and that is all uh, this far. Now select your stride warping node and we need to enter some bones. So the basic settings for the pelvis bone is going to be pelvis. For the IK foot root bone, it's going to be IK foot root and we're going to add Two foot definitions here for the IK foot root bone here it's going to be IK foot roots L this one is going to be foot L the thigh bone is going to be thigh L and for this one is going to be right side of the character so IK foot R foot R 
and thigh are. Nice. Now, um, yeah, that is it. Yeah, is it? So now we need. Uh, let's do a blend poses by bull. I'm gonna plug this up. Nice. So this condition is gonna check if we're crouch crouching or not. So right click, get crouch, and plug it up. Now we're gonna work on the standing animations first. So that means we're gonna come off of the false path. So next we're gonna say blend poses by orientation direction. And the active enum value needs to be our current orientation direction variable. Right, so off of the false, because you know, crouch is false, and only if crouch is true, we're gonna select uh, crouching animations. So we're gonna right click and we're gonna add backward, left, and right. We don't need to add forward as the default value of the character will always be facing forward. So we're gonna right click again and we're gonna search for orientation warping. We're gonna plug this up to the default value like so. And we're gonna select this node here and head to the settings. And we need to specify some bones again. So I'm gonna add a few definitions index 0 we're going to say spine 1 spine 2 spine 3 4 and 5 if you have a custom character you need to specify their spine bones but for the Unreal Engine 5 uh, Manny or Quinn Skeleton uh, it has 5 spine bones All right so we need to add the IK foot root bones or IK foot root the IK foot bones are uh, we need two of them. So IK foot L and IK foot R. The rotation axis it will stay at C. The distributed bone orientation alpha. I'm gonna set that to 0.75. Uh, this is how I guess I can say how steep the orientation warping will direct itself to. I'm gonna leave it at 0.75 since it's a bit, you know, it's a bit even. It seems a bit more clean to me. I'm gonna scroll down. I'm going to enable map range, clamp result, and interp result. Right. For the orientation angle, I'm going to use our forward variable here. Since the default value will always be forward, we're gonna use forward, and from here, we want to get the gate. So let's get our gate variable. And we're gonna say blend poses by gate. The active enum will be this gate. And so we're gonna connect this up to the orientation warping node. Right, so we're gonna add for jogging and walking for now. The default value will don't need anything because it's going to be idle. Um, right, so always remember to save your work, guys. Save. Now we're going to duplicate this, bring it down, and we're going to use one for backward, left, and right. Nice, we're gonna replace this variable. So again, simply drag your variable onto the next one, not on the text, but anywhere else in the open area. So this one's gonna be backward, this one's gonna be left, and this one is going to be right. Now, for the jogging animations, we need to create a variable. I'm just gonna duplicate this one. I'm gonna call this jog forward, no, not jog forward, but jog anims. 
start and the type is going to be ST orientation direction drag this in we're going to split the struct bin and from uh, here we're going to type sequence player and we need to expose the sequence pin and for start forward we're going to connect this right here and connect this up to the jog pose because these are jog animations right so jog forward I'm going to expose the play rate as well and we're going to slot in our play rate variable so we can adjust the play rate time I'm going to duplicate this three more times and change the pin to the backward so jog forward backward left and right right we compile and save now in your class defaults scroll down you can see you have your jog and start don't worry about all this mess we will neaten this up very soon and categorize everything so I'm going to search for my start jog anims and I'm going to slot them right here. So jog forward start, backward start, left start and right start. Now just for the time being I'm going to drag this transition back to idle and we are going to say get should move and we're going to search for not boolean. Connect this. And now it will enter the start transition and back to idle. Hit play. Now you can see he will start and you can see something is wrong with his legs. This is because of the leg IK here. We have some wrong settings. Let's see. Mm. Let's disconnect this for now until the next video. Compile and save. So, okay, so I think we found a problem. The problem we made an error with the stride warping. That's this pelvis, IK foot root bone, IK foot root, foot definitions, IK foot L, foot L, by L. Okay, so we have some issues here somewhere. Uh, for now, let's connect this up and we can figure out the stride warping issues in a bit. So now you can see, he plays the start animations and it's pretty fast compared to the speed of our acceleration, but well, our acceleration speed, yeah. So I'm going to select my play rate and I'm going to set this to 0.8, compile and save. Now you can see it's a lot better. And if you want to slow down to avoid, slow down the, the, the speed that he starts off with, the acceleration speed, you can simply head back to your component and in your gate settings variable, and you can adjust the acceleration speed here. So you can drop this to probably 700 and he will now accelerate a bit slower and you can avoid foot sliding. Right. And this is really good for setting different acceleration speeds for walking and jogging so you can get your desired results. Um, I'm going to find a fix for this real quick. Right, I'm back and uh, it was <laughs> my bad actually. So you can reconnect the leg IK node, ensure that you have the exact settings as, I, as you see here on screen. So IK foot L, foot L and leave everything else as is down to uh, the index one it's like a foot r and foot r now 
in our locomotion state. And our movement start. Uh, I'm going to right. So you get your velocity x y, get the vector length, and connect it up to your stride warping node. Ensure that the mode is set to graph. Uh, everything else here can stay as is, and you set your settings. So pelvis bone is pelvis. IK foot root bone is IK foot root. I made some errors with the uh, the FK and IK bones, which is why it wasn't working before. But I rectified that issue. Um, so yeah, the exact settings right here. IK foot uh, IK foot bone is IK foot L. FK foot bone is foot L. Thigh bone is thigh L. For index one, IK foot bone is uh, IK foot R. FK foot bone is foot R and thigh bone is thigh R. The stride scale modifier, you can simply clamp the, the result and interpret the result. Um, I enabled debugging, uh, so you can probably, if you want, you can enable these as well to see your stride warping in effect. So if I compile and save and I hit play, you can see my debugging will be enabled. But that also means that I will be using the stride warping now and this will work at all directions. And if you think it's not transitioning fast enough between directions, uh, what you can do is adjust these values as you see here. I put I inserted 0.35 but I'm going to put 0.3 because I think it's a bit too slow. So. The lower the value, the faster it will transition from forward to backward to left to right and whatever direction that you, you know, inserted or you're pressing. So yeah, forward, forward, right, orientation warping is working, forward, forward, left, left, backward, left, backward, backward, right, right, and back to forward, right. So as you can see, all directions are working fine and you can set everything up. Right, so in the next one, we're going to work on creating the cycle state. So yeah, see ya.